Hello, I am Neeti Sharma, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Gyani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPU.com. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on Vesper Theory. Vesper Theory, Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion Theory. This theory was given by Gillespie and Nylon to decide the shape of a molecule. This theory is based upon the interaction of electron pairs in the valence shell of the central atom. Five rules have been proposed by Gillespie to explain the shape of a molecule. First rule, it states that when the central atom is surrounded only by bonding pair of electrons, then the geometry of molecule is regular. For example, beryllium chloride. In beryllium, number of bond pair is two, and hence no lone pair is present, and it has regular linear geometry. Rule second. It states that when central atom is surrounded both by bonding pair of electrons and lone pair of electrons, then that mo uh, molecule has distorted geometry. And repulsion between lone pair and lone pair is greater than repulsion between lone pair and bond pair, which is greater than repulsion between bond pair and bond pair. Hence, we can say that bond angle decreases as the number of lone pair increases. For example, in CH4, carbon molecule, number of lone pair is 0 and the bond angle is 109.5 degree. In NH3, number of lone pair on nitrogen is 1 and bond angle decreases from 109.5 degree to 107 degree. Next, in H2O, number of lone pair is 2 on oxygen atom and hence here bond angle decreases from 109.5 to 104.5. Rule third, it states that bond angle decreases as the electronegativity of the atoms attached to a central atom decreases. For example, in ASI3, the bond angle is 101 degree and when we shift to ASBR3 here, bromine is more electronegative than iodine, hence the bond angle decreases and in ASCL3, bond angle decreases to 98.4 degree. Rule 4 states that when uh, repulsion between electron pairs in filled shells is more than the repulsion between electron pairs in incomplete filled shells. For example, in oxygen, the valence shell is second, which has got four orbitals and hence it can accommodate eight electrons. Hence, it is completely filled. But in H2S, the valence shell is third. It has got nine orbitals, 3s, 3p and 3d. Hence, it can accommodate 18 electrons, but it is filled only by 8 electrons. Hence, it is incompletely filled. Therefore, the bond angle in H2O is greater, and, uh, is greater than the bond angle in H2S. Rule 5th. It states that bond angles involving multiple bonds is greater than the bond angle involving sigma bonds. For example, in COCl2, the bond angle between oxygen, carbon and chlorine is greater than bond angle between chlorine, carbon and chlorine. Thank you, thank you and thank you so much for listening to my video lecture. For more information, you can log on to www.gurukpu.com.